Yes? Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, this is... I'm sorry, Michael. I just had to read your diary. How very impolite of you. I'm so shocked. I'll stop rhyming for now. Where did you find this? In the diner, Michael. You were only able to look for it at night, right? Diner, of course. It must have meant a lot to you. But why does it have no eyes? Mr. Francis Zack Morgan... Mr. Stewart gave me this carving, the day he adopted me. It was an unfinished carving, made by Mr. Stewart himself. When he gave it to me, he said, When you grow up to be a fine man, as a son I can be proud of, I'll give you the eye parts to this bird, and then you can finish the carving yourself. I'm far from receiving the eye parts if I'm losing the bird itself, and I'm far from being a son that Mr. Stewart can be proud of. Michael! Mr. Stewart! Let me give you these. These are the eyes for the bird. Have you forgotten my promise? What a fine son you turned out to be. But I... It's okay, Michael. Objects are not important. It's your heart that's important. That's what I wanted to teach you, and you've learned it well. I'm proud of you. Thanks to Zack and York, we can stop our act now. You and I need to be a team and steer this town in the right direction. Mr. Stewart. I had a feeling you would bring the carving back. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. He knew exactly what was going on all along. Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, you've been very kind to help me, and I appreciate it very much. No problem. Look after your father, okay? <laughs>